last year. I was in a rut, socially, psychologically, and emotionally. I wasn't getting any work done. And the reason was, I was cold all the time. My husband and I had just moved into a house up in the mountains, and I was letting the temperature play havoc with my productivity and my priorities. I didn't find the answer with my research team in the lab. The answer came later, when I realized that I could just shut the fuck up about it and put on a goddamn coat if I was so cold. This is the story about finding the answer when you're not looking for it, accepting inspiration when it presents itself, and learning to appreciate that heating oil is goddamn expensive and we can't afford to blast the heat just because I'm a little chilly. When you're working on a project like this one, you have to be open to the unexpected. I didn't reach my conclusions based on trends and data or a surprising result in clinical trials. I figured it out by listening for once. I'd hear something and I'd always have something stupid to say about it that proved that I just really wasn't listening. Luckily, my husband kept trying to get through to me. And he pointed my team in the direction of, well, if you're cold, there's a real simple solution hanging in the closet, assuming you have half a brain to go and look there instead of constantly complaining. Sure enough, we were able to find one. By the way, you'll have to excuse me if I start speaking in a whiny, needy voice. I know I do that sometimes. With the help of my new outlook, I was able to prove that different people experience different levels of discomfort, even when exposed to the same temperature. So maybe I should think about someone other than myself for once. What about that exactly is so hard to understand? You shouldn't be afraid to discard your preconceived notions. I thought a space heater might help, but after it was explained to me that space heaters don't do anything, they're a scam. They just make themselves hot and keep the rest of the room cold. I put it out of my mind. Needless to say, I learned a lot. Instead of getting frustrated, hunting for answers, sometimes the best thing is to close your fucking mouth and let the person who knows what the fuck he's talking about show you the answers. Thank you. Join me on my cross-country odyssey as I make our forefathers proud, reveling in life, liberty, and the pursuit of pork. You really taste the cooked pork. This stuff is fantastic. I'm a big salt fan. Let's pork! This is Porkin' Across America.